Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you how to update documents in Cloud Firestore using the NPM package called Firebase TS. Before we get started, be sure to watch the video on how to set up the package. The video for that is posted in the video description. Also, make sure you have created the Cloud Firestore database for your project in the Firebase Project Console. Do not forget to allow yourself to update data by setting the Firestore rules. Add the Firebase TS Firestore class to the imports and create a Firebase TS Firestore object. The Firebase TS Firestore object contains a method called update, which we can use to update our documents. It takes an object with up to four properties path, data, oncomplete, and on fail. The path property is a string array that points to a particular document in Cloud Firestore. Every even position of the array represents a collection, and every odd position represents a document. For example, in our database, we have a document with the ID 1 inside collection called Users. To update that document, we will put the name of the collection to represent the collection, and then the ID of the document to represent the document. The data property is an object with key and value pairs. We put the data that we want to update here. If we take a look at the document in the database, there are three pieces of data, name, age, and hobbies. Let's say that we want to update the name and age. We will put the name to represent the name property in the document, and then the new value. We will do the same for the age. Put age and then the new value for the age. The onComplete and onFail properties are optional callback function that gets called when the command is successful or not. We do not need them to call the update method, but we can use them to execute some code after the process. We can display a success message when it was successful, and we can display an error message when it fails. So right now, it will update the document with the ID of 1 in the user's collection. Save the project and go to the Firebase Project Console. As you can see, the name was updated to Joe, and the age was updated to 26. If we go to our application on the browser, we will get a successful message. That's all for the update method. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. If you have questions, leave a comment. See you in the next video.